Welcome to CloudLock, my name is Marco Martinez. For this video we will use drones, game controllers and the Raspberry Pi. We will use our Teledrone to send uh, data, video and input commands over WebSockets. WebSockets will allow us to connect our drone locally and also over public internet. I hope that you like the video. Thank you. So let's start by looking into the application and, and seeing how it looks. So first here I have here the, uh, the repository where you can actually clone the app and run, in, run the app locally and also run the app with, an, with Tunnel to have access to your drone over public internet. So let's first uh, dive into the um, what's in the repository so here i have the content on that repository open we have a readme file with instructions on how to clone the repository how to install the dependencies and also how to run the portal the website portal locally also let me switch this thing off so first um so let's here i, I already have the repository clone and also install so i'm gonna just simply start the server so now we have the WebSocket server running locally and this is this will also work as our uh, UDP server for uh, communicated with our uh, Teledrone so now that we have our WebSocket connected let's jump in and to our app and uh, here so let's first take a look uh, this is the app by the way running on a public uh, on publicly on a public website that you can actually access and test this app without having to run the portal locally so let's first here on the top right corner we have the battery status the battery status is available on icon format and also on a percentage format if you click on on that icon to change that or, or toggle between uh, the icon and the percentage that goes from 0 to 100 and uh, the same goes for the icons uh, there are five different icons for warning level to full battery when the battery is full uh, as you can see here at the bottom, we have um, basically uh, like a video that's playing on the background that's waiting to be played. If we click on play, nothing happens. Uh, again, we are not yet connected to our drone and we're not transmitting video from our drone yet. Uh, but as you can see, the, the, the player is basically using the, the entire screen um, as, as background. Top left corner, we have this uh, quick, um, I forgot the name of this menu, but it's a um, dial pad menu, I believe. So on the dial pad menu, we have the about for more information about me and uh, and the icon that I use when you run the app. The app. Uh, second, we have the gamepad for mapping and your gamepad. So for example, let's say that you want to use an Xbox One, a PS4 or a, a Nintendo Switch or basically any controller that you can connect to your computer over Bluetooth or over USB, you, uh, you can actually use it and you can remap or reassign the buttons uh, from this screen, from this option. Third option is for, for viewing the drone stats or, or drone sensor raw data. For example, the battery is one of them, the battle, it's uh, the barometer, it's also one of them. The yo, the basically all the sensor data from the a radio sensors that are available on drone and lastly it's for connecting to our server here if i click connect we have that okay it's one to connect to a websocket local host 8080 that's by default that's good because we are running our server on our computer locally so this server it's only available on your computer so that's fine local host port our colon 8080 let's connect socket connected so means that we successfully connected to our WebSocket server and if we switch to our console we see okay socket connected sending data that's good so now let's go to our gamepad it's uh you see there is nothing available so let's move it so now it's connected 
If we move the left trigger, you see that the axes are moving, that they also apply, that, that the same thing that also applies for the right trigger, if we press the buttons, uh, buttons, you will see which button is pressed. For example, if I press A, that is uh, as it's button number zero. So if everything, all your actions are available here. So let's start by mapping our uh, functions or input. So if I move the stick up, so this is up, down, uh, clock, clockwise, move the stick to the right. If I move the right stick forward, forward, backward, to the left, to the left, and uh, to the right. I want now to use the the bumpers or the LVRB. So LB, I want to use that for my stream, for my command mode. So that will put the drone on listening command mode. L, uh, yeah, LT for uh, starting a stream on or for starting the video streaming from the drone on the right, the right uh, bumper. That's RL, RL, RB, I'm sorry, RB for taking off and RT for landing. And now I want to use the left side click, left stick click for emergency stop, emergency. And I want to also use the right stick for emergency stop, uh, for stopping the motors on the uh, as an emergency. So now let me use the D-pad, the, the pad up for flipping forward, down for flipping backward, flipping to the left, flipping to the right. So as you can see, you have lots of buttons that you can actually use or not use if you want. So let's click out to exit. The settings are automatically saved on the browser uh, local storage. So if I refresh this window and go back to uh, the gamepad session, uh, the settings are available, so they are kept on memory per se. So now let's again connect, connect. Okay, now we're connected. So now let's start by starting up or turning on our drone. So one click, then another click to, to turn on the drone. So right now it's on pairing mode. So let's go to, or in my case, I'm using my laptop. Wi-Fi and connect to my drone, Telo. Connecting. So now, now the drone switches to uh, uh, its amber light. It's now flashing rapidly. It means that now it's uh, it's connected. So something connected and it's waiting for an action. So now I'm gonna just press the left bumper for starting the common mode and the drone will change its light to green uh, flashing slow so that means that the drone it's now ready for receiving commands I'm gonna start the video transmitting so now we're okay it's transmitting perfect so now let's let me put the drone on the ground and take off let's see if I have enough space Okay. So, uh, perfect, so it's working. So now I'm gonna show you how to set up the, the, the commands for accessing the drone over public internet. I forgot to mention about the stats that are also available. So let me first uh, put the drone here, here, and click on the menu. Now click on stats. As you will see now that you have a lot of information, you have the pitch roll, yo, a lot, ton of different information that if I move the drone, you will see that information changing. 
uh, for measuring the height, measuring the flight time, angular velocity, all that information is available on the stats and it's only available when we have the stats open. I'm going to show you the process on how to run uh, this app over the internet. You can do the, the, this process from uh, any computer, virtually any computer, Windows, Mac, or even a small computer like a Raspberry Pi. Um, you will see that's very easy. Again, if we go to the instructions that are available on the README file, uh, we have instructions for setting up a, a tunnel using ng-rock. So ng-rock is a software that we can use to open uh, ports, open, open tunnels from our computer. So that it's available for, on Linux, on, on Windows. So it's an extremely easy process or easy setup. Here are the instructions for setting up uh, ng-rock on Windows. But for the sake of this video and just for demo purposes, I'm going to run the app on a Raspberry Pi. So let me just switch to my Pi. Uh, let's see first, let's copy the instructions. So, okay, here, and this is my Raspberry Pi uh, desktop. So let's first clone the repository. Installing or I'm basically downloading the packages. And by the way, you have uh, to then CD install then start. So let's do that. So I'm um, and by the way, you have to first kill the server that you have running on your computer. It's not you're not required, but it's better. Okay, done. It's the instructions, so it's now on this folder. Now it's installing the dependencies and start to start the server. So now it's running on the on the Raspberry Pi. And um, from here, we now have to basically once you complete the setup on from on ng Rock, you have to start uh, ng Rock. Here are the instructions, open tunnel. So as you can see, I have engine rock on my document folder. It's available here. So let me just paste. And now it's running. So I'm gonna just copy this URL. Oh my God, I accidentally killed the app, so copy. Okay, we don't. We no longer need this window. We don't. I need to specify the port. Okay, we are connected now. Let's now um, grab one drone. Let me just turn on this drone. Okay, now it's it's in uh, pairing mode. Let's go to the Raspberry Pi, turn the Wi-Fi on, and search for that. Yeah, it's now connected. It automatically connected. So now it's just waiting for command. It's blinking yellow, orange. Let me put the drone on the ground. Let me start command mode. Let me start streaming. Okay, and now it's streaming. So we can start, stop the drone. Uh, for this test, I'm gonna actually do something crazier. I'm gonna ask my brother to connect remotely from his computer to my computer and take over the drone and, and control the drone. So just give me one second for that. So now we have the server running on the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi is connected to uh, my LAN network using ether Ethernet and it's connected to the drone using Wi-Fi that you will see here. It's connected to Telo. So again, this is the Raspberry Pi that's serving as a WebSocket server. 
So now let's switch to my brother that's actually now helping me. We're using Zoom. So he's connected from his home and we have a, a Zoom uh, meeting open for uh, this uh, demo. As you can see, he's, uh, he has opened the, the Amazon website. He's about to connect. So uh, also, uh, if you can give us a favor and, and connect to the drone, drone please. By the way, he already mapped the boot buttons and, and everything, and he will now uh, launch the aircraft. So just take off, host, please. If you can land. Land. So dangerous, yes, but fun, yes. So with this demo, we, we just showcase uh, the capabilities of, again, transmitting, video feed, and also um, he's also controlling the drone over public internet using NG Rock to open a tunnel. So again, very fun stuff, uh, very cool stuff. So again, he's in a different location in his own house using his own internet to connect. So again, also, thank you. I don't know if you want to say something. Uh, what do you think about the project? Uh, the project is pretty cool. Uh, using cloud services and also Raspberry Pi and the public internet. So I think it's a very good project. Okay. So it's looking awesome. <laughs>